Greetings YouTube, my name is Alex and I am The Reef Talk and today I am going to be doing the first in what is probably going to be a very long series where I tell you about all the mistakes I have made in setting up and running my tank. I've got five for you today, so let's get to it. So the first one I'm going to tell you about is also the most infuriating and the reason it's the most infuriating is because I keep doing it over and over again. It's forgetting about the RO machine and leaving it on to flood your kitchen. Come on then, I'll take you to it. So, as you can see, I did this last night, came down in the morning and there was 25 litres of water on my floor. Now, fortunately, the barrel was more or less empty when I put it down. It wasn't half full, but it was still stupid and it was infuriating coming down to this side at 6am when I'm tired and fed up. Now the good news is that there is a simple solution. You can get water alarms for a few quid, you can get a single use one like this or a reusable one like this and this one actually has a detachable sensor so you can take, you can leave the box in the cupboard and just put that sensor on the floor if you want and all you need to do is put it by the water barrel before you start filling it up and then if it does overflow and you go to bed, it'll wake you up and remind you when you've only got half a litre on the floor. Unfortunately for me, I'm too stupid to put that down every time because I keep bloody forgetting. Must do better. Next up is a fish stocking mistake. Now, the mistake I made this time was buying a fish and collecting it on the very same day it got into my local fish shop. Fish come in from around the world and need time to sit and relax and take a bit of time to get used to their surroundings and the fact that they're no longer in the ocean. I made the mistake of collecting the fish the day it came in, then took it home, uh, then took it back to the office, left it there for, uh, for about three hours uh, in a bag and then took it back to the tank. It survived for a couple of days but died uh, pretty much straight away if I'm honest um, and it should certainly last a lot longer than that. And I'm pretty sure it was my fault. There were no signs of uh, disease or anything. So I think it was the stress that killed him. And that's a shame for a number of reasons. First and foremost, my actions have resulted in the death of a fish. Uh, also, it's a bit annoying because I've spent 55 quid. So from now on, I will not be buying and collecting fish the day they come in. Let them settle, let them relax. Next up is an equipment fail, specifically return pumps. Now. This is the return pump that I had, or that I tried to use for this tank here when I first set it up. This is an AC pump, it's an Eheim uh, Compact 3000, and it's basically the same size as the tank it was going in. It's huge and it's way overpowered. Now, I used this one because I had it lying around, so I didn't buy it specifically for the tank, but I have in the past bought pumps that are too large and tried to dial them back. Now that's fine with a DC pump, because it's electronically controlled, but with a pump like this, an AC pump, all you're doing is turning that and it reduces the amount of flow that comes out there. So there's still the same amount of power and all that ends up doing is turning the electricity into noise and vibrations. So that is a no-no. Get a pump that is the right size. In the end, I had to replace it with uh, a 2000 litre per hour uh, DC pump that I could dial right down. And you are far better off working out the right size pump and getting the right one in the first place. If you're gonna dial it down, make sure you get a DC pump, not an AC. For the next one, I've come over to this side of the tank because this is where the plugs are and I let it get a bit messy. Let's take a look. So this is my glorious attempt at cable management. Now the mistake I made was not doing this carefully when I set the tank up. Firstly, look at the cables, they're all over the place, it's a mess. Finding what piece of equipment in the tank corresponds with what plug is a nightmare, which is going to be a real problem if you're faffing around doing a water change or something. But even beyond that, I didn't label the plugs. Ah! So even if I get up close to it, I can't see what plug I'm pulling out. Now the best time to have done that would be when I'm setting up, so there's no pressure, I don't need to worry about having something turned off that I would like to have on. You can take your time. Thread the cables through, make them nice and neat, label them up, job done. But I chose not to do that, so now I've got to unplug them one by one when I get round to it, which may or may not ever happen. 
and the last one for the day takes us down into the sump. The mistake I made here was not vinyl wrapping it at the start. Now the reason I didn't do that is because it wouldn't quite come out without taking the hinges off the door and I couldn't be bothered with that. But the benefits of vinyl wrapping are that you can see everything much more easily. So on the underside of the tank there's a black piece of foam. That's there for insulation which is good but it makes it more difficult to see under the tank and it would have been nice to have that so I can work on the sump a bit more easily. Also having a Cheeto reactor means that I do get a bit of light spill. You can see in the centre I've put a black piece of card at the back but if the sump was wrapped in vinyl, one layer of white then one layer of black obviously on the outside of the sump, then that would have been much less of a problem. I'd have got less light spill and it would have made my missus happier in the evening when we're trying to chill out and watch TV. So that's my first five reefing mistakes for you. I hope you've enjoyed my misery and I promise to keep making lots of stupid mistakes for your benefit. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and look out for the next video. Until next time, I have been the Reef Dog. Thank you, good night. You're in shot there, mate. <laughs>